Oh, alright. Hello there, friends. Welcome back. How are you all doing today? Uh, I thought today. Seems like a fun- it's my Saturday. It's my day off. It's kind of raining outside. We've got a chill mood. Large, enormous moods going on right now. In terms of the weather being nice again. And in terms of weather being nice again, it's a time- it's time for a commentary, isn't it? That's what you really want to do. You want to close the cur- um, Okay, I haven't closed the curtains, but you'll want to close your curtains and just, you know, make make a nice hot chocolate, perhaps, and put your feet up and have a nice little woolen commentary for today. And we're continuing with the random loadouts. Went onto the site, we managed to find an actually interesting loadout for once. Shovel, weapon, I don't think I've used since day one of TF2 being installed. What was that, like, seven years ago? So that's great. Gunboats, thank God. <laughs> I've missed the gunboats so much. And the airstrike, a weapon that I just, I don't use. But, uh, from like the twice, the like, two times I've ever used it on stream, people always recommended using it with the gunboats and going for like, big pogos and stuff, because you can do that on like, if we get in process, I've no idea what map we're going to go on, you know, I'll hit casual and, you know, just hit start search, we, we don't know what map we're going to get, but if we get like a map with loads of rollouts, this is really good, because of the increased shooty, shooty fart, oh, that was quick, oh yeah, it's a Saturday, so people are playing the game. So hopefully, anyway, what I'm going to say is rocket jumping with this weapon is meant to be good. Typically, you're meant to use it with the- oh, never mind, bad water. It's a good video. It's blessed. Uh, normally, you use it with the base jumper. It's like the intention was when it was released. Uh, it's pre-game. Lovely. But we're going to use it with the gunboats because that seems good. And also, like, the shovel. Like, we're not even using, like, the frying pan or the sign or a reskin or anything. Oh, I missed the pogo. That's fine. I- I- I know very little about this weapon, as you've probably known from the fact that I don't know anything about this game that isn't equipable by the spy class. But I am aware that this thing shoots faster. I don't know if the rockets themselves are any different. Uh, they have a smaller blast radius, I'm aware of that. But only while blast jumping. Okay, so they do a bit less damage, they're a bit smaller. Clip size increased on kill. It's the Islander thing. What? Oh, it's pre-game! I got so confused, like, why why am I allowed out of the gate? I was waiting for the game to start. Is the game not start- Have I mi have I missed something? Okay, I, for some reason my brain just shut off and assumed that the pre-game had finished. Anyway, s let me finish my thread brain. Stop creating new threads, alright? For one second, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Islander, kill boy, heads from the airstrike, go to the Islander. I don't know if it works the other way around. Like, I don't know if you're killing a, um... Oh, damn. I, I don't know if killing a Islander boy with your s strength gives you his heads. I don't think that's how it works. I can't imagine that's how it works. Because the stealing thing is part of the Islander, it's not part of this, but... We'll see eventually. So anyway, yeah, hello. How are you all doing, chat? And boys and girls, whatever I'm watching. You might notice some small- hopefully you won't, but you might notice some small differences in the recording. Hopefully on the good end. Uh, f my shadow play finally broke. I've been using the same ancient version- I missed the rollout. I've been using the same ancient version of Nvidia's shadow play for the last, like, four or five years I've been doing recordings. And the last Windows 10 update completely broke it and there is no single way I've managed to fix it. I spent the last day trying as hard as I could to fix it, but they force installed a bunch of drivers and I can't seem to, like, install previous ones properly without them breaking and it's Windows way of saying screw you for paying, like, 60 pounds for us. Um, none of your things are going to work and we're going to force updates and if you disable them you're going to get a horrid virus because we've also made it so Windows 10 actually has a working antivirus but it's hooked in with the rest of the updates, so you can't exclusively get security updates and nothing else. And, um, no, that wasn't just a five-minute rant about Windows and how it breaks absolutely everything. Um, but anyway, regardless of that, I'm now switched over to using OBS, which I use for streaming, so I've fiddled with that. I've tried to get a nice high bitrate so that it will look pretty. It might even look better than Shadowplay, I have no idea yet. But... Uh, it should at least still have a small file size. That was the reason I don't use, like, no one uses fraps anymore. If any of you know, like, the Minecraft recording videos that everyone used to do in, like, 2011, like, Yogscast era, everyone used fraps, because it was, like, super high quality. The downside was, was it was, like, a gigabyte per minute of video, because it was, I don't know if it was literally uncompressed, but it was close enough. Um, but anyway, all that aside, OBS, recording, blah blah blah, I'm running around, I'm shooting people with a rocket launcher and talking. Usual kind of thing, and once more, I'm gonna, you know, kind of, you want a bit of a mini story. My TF2 life has now compressed down to once a week on Monday, so if it seems like I'm making really silly mistakes, it's because I genuinely am making silly mistakes. Uh, I'm able to, you know, play this once a week on Monday on the stream, but other than that, I've started to chill down a little bit and play other stuff, move on, play other things. 
Uh, if there's like a nice big update for TF2, I'll probably stream it a bit more often, but... You know, kind of a downside of playing less of a video game is that you get a bit worse at it. So I've basically become an old man, you know? Like, my legs are shaky, my arms are achy, something something spaghetti. All of that's kind of gone to the point where I can no longer move my mouse very well and... You know, my memory's kind of broken as well. I don't know if that's part of the game or what, but... So yeah, apologies if I like, you know, jump straight in, like do like a pencil jump and walk straight into a guy and get air shot or something. You know, it's, it's kind of the effect. It's what happens. And it, you know, brings me down to the, the level of my trash tier commentary. It means the gameplay actually matches now, which is nice. But look, I'm actually having a lot of fun jumping. I, I am screwing up a couple of the jumps, but that's completely fine. What I do want to do is be a bit careful and there you are. This thing doesn't do less damage to sentries, if I remember correctly, but he's using the Rescue Ranger, the weapon that completely invalidates my existence. And he's also standing in a full ammo pack, which completely invalidates the downside of that weapon. So, you know, good on you. I'm going to jump around and try and get max health again, and maybe see if this soldier chases me all the way into... What is this, valley? Yard? What, what do people call this area? Is there a call for this part of Badwater? I haven't seen it. People haven't held roof on Badwater for the last 48 years. People have forgotten it's existed. Look, let's just walk in it in a straight line and maybe hope he looks away. No? Okay. That was bad on my end. My thought was, hey, maybe the rockets will hit it before I die. But that's really stupid. <laughs> I don't I don't really know what we were trying to accomplish there, to be honest. We got one century, but there's like another 48 in existence. Like, their their team's really playing bad water. They have sentries and soldiers. We have a medic. We have two medics. Maybe I should be playing with my team a bit more. Get out of here, sniper. So, like, you know, the minimal explosion radius as well on the airstrike, it's not that big of a deal. Like, it's, it is, it's there, but as long as you just hit your rockets, it shouldn't matter. Like, people use, like him, use the direct hit anyway. So I wouldn't matter, t wouldn't worry too much anyway. I would like the health medic. I was... Did you die? He didn't die, he just ran off. I was hoping to use the health from that medic to go back into the battle, but maybe I should have just jumped back to spawn. I do have the gunboats, after all. So I should be using those a bit more proactively, but, you know, I don't know. We have a pretty good team composition for offense. Mine is like the one engineer. I don't know what he's doing, but, you know, I have a bunch of medics and soldiers. We just don't seem to be getting anywhere. I think we're just being literally DM'd by like half a sixes team here. They're coming here to scrim quickly at four o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. They really want to get their DM up, so when they have their sixes scrim, they just absolutely shred and open. But, um, that wasn't me being cheeky, by the way. I'm sure that's really what's happening. Maybe not. We should jump to cart, though. There's a tiny chance we have five seconds. Do you want to do, like, the, the wild zoomiest slow rocket jump that doesn't really help our team at all? Oh, he's using the shotgun with the direct hit! You have just the smallest of stones, my friend. You need to- you need to- you need to wear the gunboats. There's no other thing in the game but the gunboats. It is the- it's the Ocarina of Time speedrun infinite sword glitch weapon, but he's allowed on soldier, and you don't have to talk to Navi to equip it. It's just fantastic. Oh, <coughs> That was not very good. To be honest, this weapon must be amazing for training on. I know they might have banned it in some jumping servers, but like around the time that it was released, it was like broken as hell in, rock in some rocket jumping maps, because a lot of them don't expect you to be able to fire this fast. And that completely breaks some of the jumps, and at least some of the easier maps, and I know people are using that to kind of farm some easy world records, and I think that got banned pretty quickly, but... It's probably pretty fun, like if you got really good at rocket jumping with the extra speed... Like, I'm ignoring the head mechanic, I'm, I'm entirely thinking about the fact that you can pogo a lot easier with this thing. Pogoing doing that. Like, there! I held down the button, because that's normally kind of what I do when I pogo, but it was so fast that that was actually a bad thing, rather than just being a mildly bad thing. But like... The fact that you can time each rocket, it, it shoots so fast that you can manually time each rocket means that you have an incredible amount of flexibility over your jumps. It's a good thing. It's a good thing in reality. And I feel like if you got really good with this weapon, it would be so much fun to be able to zoom around with. I think it's still banned in sixes, isn't it? Maybe? I don't remember, to be honest. I'm, I'm completely out of it. I have zero interest in it anymore, so I've kind of, you know, stopped paying attention to it remotely. And as a result, I have no idea what weapons are allowed or banned anymore. Despite the fact it's only been like a month since I made that video all about banned weapons, it might have been the fact that I spent so much time doing that that I uh, completely like, it was like a bad memory. I spent like 50 hours or whatever editing that video. You can have the ammo, I just want the health. You're gonna take both, aren't you? 
I like. I was gonna let the spy backstab you, but instead he tried to come for me. That was very rude of you, Titan. I was li I was letting you have the ammo as the engineer, but you wouldn't acquiesce the same to me. Very. You're the bad boy from before. I'm using the shovel. I did it. <laughs> we used the other weapon we have equipped for the first time in our life. I feel like I always forget about the melee weapons in these like wacky whatever, whatever the Christ it is I called this series. <laughs> like the melee weapons, obviously, you know, they're completely random, but. They do instantly kill when you get that crit, and you're gonna get that crit eventually. It's Team Fortress 2, what is it? Melees have like a 60% chance to crit when you've done 600 damage in the last minute. I don't remember the mechanic. You know, another downside, you're playing it a bit less. You, you start to forget. You start to forget what your household keys are. You start to think that R in your car means race mode, and you're zooming down your road really slowly in reverse, and you know, all the kind of normal things of getting older. But you forget exactly how the crit bucket mechanic works in TF2, because it really, really doesn't really matter. Like, you're gonna get the crit anyway. Just a tremendous mechanic. And look, 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 we've got a head. Watch this, look. We reloaded an extra thing. I don't know if people call them heads or what. I think head is probably the best name for this weapon right now. Or like, what you want to call, like, the extra rocket. Just because I think it makes sense if you liken it to the Islander. You can do like a bit- look, it's really good for- Dive bombing. I guess just regular bombing. Maybe that's why it's- I think that's why it was banned, wasn't it? Like, you walk into a medic and he instantly takes like 400 damage from a rocket. Other than that, it's essentially just a rocket launcher, but... I'm enjoying it. I should try and be maybe a bit more passive and maybe get like 100 heads, try and retain that. Do we have a medic or is that a spy? I can't tell. But like, if you can aim direct, maybe this weapon is almost downsideless. Is that really a word? Not really. Maybe it's almost an upgrade in a- like, if, you, if you're not aiming for splash for some reason, like if you're just you're completely ignoring splash mechanics, maybe it's like almost downsideless because you're going to be hitting direct anyway and you're shooting faster. Like, what does it actually do? It does a bit less damage, never mind, it's a huge downside. Who would use this weapon? It does 15% less damage! That means it takes like 8 hits to kill a scout, right? That's nuts. We're not on- no, we're not on an American server. I felt like they were coming out slower. They- It doesn't say anything about the rockets moving slower. It might just be the model. But I can't aim this thing. <laughs> oh, well, okay. I have to be honest. My entire, like, conversation earlier about maybe this weapon's downsideless. I think it might actually be trash. <laughs> I feel like I've been doing a bunch of damage but not getting any kill- Look at that, I'm going 4 to 11. I don't know if I've had, like, a negative kill thing in, like, the last 48 years. They do, like, no damage at all with this thing. I was like, oh, it's so great. Think of all the rocket jumping potential. It's useless if you can't actually kill anyone with it. Again, maybe, you know, you, maybe that's the part of the weapon, is that you need to get the heads before it becomes useful. But I feel like I'm just... I'm hitting rockets on people, but they're doing no damage. They're, like, peeing on them. It's doing pedal damage. I could also maybe just smack... St oh! That was a bit cheeky of me. Oh! Oh! Oh, I tried. You have to go for the air shot. If you don't, again, you know, small stones break my bones. He's gonna come for us, isn't he? I had a feeling. I had a feeling someone was coming for me, and that feeling was it just incorrect. Perhaps we'll get 48 crits in a row, kill the heavy, he'll not turn around. Yeah, that, that also works. That was quite lucky on my end, I guess, but look. I'm gonna try and stay alive for, like, a tiny bit longer, build up the heads, and maybe try and use the weapon in its intended way. Oh, spy. Free head off that spy. Actually, like, hit him straight on the noggin there. <laughs> this thing doesn't do headshot damage unless they're jumping. And what I mean by that is, uh, if you smack someone on the head, they sometimes just crater and hit the floor instantly, and it's basically a headshot. That's Sir Man. He has some good pipes. He has some very good piping. I would like to escape, please. No one shoot me with anything at all for the next, like, minute. I'm a good boy. I try my best. I drink my water, my clear juice. I'm here to escape. Never mind. That upset me. I was- I wanted to use, like, the escape plan to escape, but my plan didn't work out. But that's fine. Like, normally I'd like to rocket jump away, but I think we literally had, like, 9 health. And I think the gunboats does, like, 11 or 15 or something. Like, I'm pretty sure I'd die with only 9 health. Again, probably wrong, but I don't think it was worth the risk. It was more- it was more worth it to just try and escape and hope the other team didn't shoot me. There's a lot of people pushing out of tires. It is like a Highlander team or something. Like, they have strats, they're working together. He's trying to put that tell that sentry, that sentry there, every time. Like, I feel like it guarantees that team a victory. The moment you see that sentry get set up on bad water, it's like, completely game over. No one ever seems to be able to take it out. And it's upsetting. 
He'll, he'll just be sitting in spawn being doing a big own noe. I can't help much here, my team, I'm afraid. I'm a, I'm a bit worried about this direct hit boy coming back, but I don't think he is. I should also, like, I also talked a bunch about, like, splash damage and stuff. I'm still trying to, like, aim at group. I'm just shooting the sentry. Shoot the people. Crit, 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 crit. Never mind, there's one pyro. I'm in completely invalidated. That's fine. I'm going to go to the sad room over here. Well, that was, that was interesting, I guess. I'm just going to end it there, to be honest. <laughs> I could probably rattle on for hours about rocket jumping, but I think I'd only be repeating myself, so... There you go. <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> Did absolutely awful. I'm going to blame that entirely on the loadout and not on myself, because that's what you do when you have a YouTube channel. What I could also do is play for another two hours and exclusively edit in the highlights so you think I'm good, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so I'm just going to end the video there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.